Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna take you on the tour of Jano Sun Odyssey 490 sailing yacht. Trenton Carroll with Cruising Yachts is going to show us the boat. Yes, we are. We are social distancing, so we'll be keeping our distance apart. He's going to show us exterior, and then I am going to show you the interior of the boat on my own. All right, let's go. Victoria, thanks for being on board. First of all, I'd like to kind of give you some of the features and the benefits of this new 490, which is really pretty exquisite. I heard it has a lot of innovative features. Well, the first one is right behind you. Oh, if you okay. turn and look right there, oh wow! instead of having to climb over this and get to the uh, gunnels to go forward, all we do now is, at Genoa is we've developed a complete walk-up ramp. So if you're behind the helm and you're sailing and you need to go forward, all you do is you step to one side and you start walking forward. This is so innovative. It, nobody else in the industry has anything even remotely close to what we're doing here. This is so different. This is definitely a nice way not to break a toe on the sailboat. Right. And the other thing that you'll notice as we're walking forward, you have an outboard shroud and an inboard shroud. You notice how easy the walkway is to get between them? A yeah, lot of the other boats, very wide. they're either sh uh, s slanted like this so you have to kind of move to get around it. And what we've done at Genoa is by splitting it, it makes it easy. So what have we done? We've made it safety. The safety fact, you don't have to crawl over to get in there. Safety fact, to walk forward. Safety fact, splitting the shroud so you're not going and dropping down, you're walking straight through. It's really wide and it feels really, really safe. And the other thing that you'll notice is how much wider the bow is. Um, on the older boats, if you'll look at some of the other ones, it's called a V-berth. Right now, we've opened up the whole bow, so what it does is it opens up the room in the forward cabin so it's much bigger. I'm sure you'll look at that later. And the other kind of neat thing is we have a full storage compartment up front. Oh, this looks like a massive storage. Oh, it's totally. Big that's storage a huge, up here for code a, zeros or any wow. other additional sales that Big you might want to add to the boat. Yeah. Again, it's all about giving you a boat that gives you a lifestyle on the water that is totally different than anything that you've ever experienced. Very cool. All right, what else have we got? Other than that, on the front, you've got all the open ports. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tons ten of hatches. Ten opening ports, which gives you a fantastic flow of ventilation through the boat. Yeah, that's, so, that's pretty cool. That's a lot, and some of them are really large. Like they're these very two large, are very and these big. are solar here. So it, it creates a little fan on the inside, so it's always circulating the air. Huh, very cool. Again, as you walk back, it's easy to get through here. There's no, there's no cumbersome way. And again, we've got the complete ramp, walk straight back to the boat. This is amazing. You'd be surprised. <laughs> how convenient this becomes. Oh, I totally get it. I my mean, my thing is when I'm on sailboats, I always try to wear shoes because I always feel like there's just hurdles to get over and to, totally. to be able to just have that super smooth yeah. ramp going to the front is amazing. Like well, you don't think about it. You need to get there, you just walk. You don't have to think of how you're gonna step yeah. up and what are you gonna move over? Are you gonna step on a cushion? Like yeah. you just, it's awesome. You We've actually cuddle. also done something else that nobody has done before. Uh, because boating is what? Entertainment. Boating is friends. Boating is with family. 
boating is in the cockpit enjoying the, the, the sun, the wind and everything. So we took it to another level and we created no a complete drop-down platform. What? So now you have an entire sunbed. <gasps> this is amazing. Right. And Are uh, you so kidding it's, me? It, and it's so convenient. And again, it's something that nobody else has thought about doing. We have the walk around deck. We have the drop down panel. So I've got a beautiful sun bed. This is brilliant. And right where you're standing, I have another piece that drops in that. So let's say you've got extra people and you're going to spend the night up at Paradise Cove. You could sleep out here if you needed to. Absolutely. It's a really big wide cockpit. It's a lot of room here. And it's so easy to bring right back up. So everything is so you've easy. got it on both sides. We only do one side, one side. because okay. if you drop down both sides at the same time, it makes it more difficult to get through the cockpit. That's a really cool feature. The helm, uh, the helm station is so ergonomically set up so that if you're sailing here, I mean, I have a perfect view all the way forward. When I'm sailing, I can see what's in front of me. I can make sure I can make any changes if necessary. And if I need to go forward quickly, I can immediately step and go. It's a safety factor. Climb from there out to get over here. You can see how difficult it would normally be. Totally. Let's say there's an older population out there that don't want to climb around on a boat. And you All still they... want to enjoy sailing. You got it. I feel like for a lot of older people, it becomes a thing they enjoy sailing and then they ended up either have to give up sailing altogether because they feel like it's just becoming too dangerous exactly. and too difficult or they ended up moving onto maybe a catamaran, uh, which is a completely different thing. It's amazing, oh, yeah. but different. So this is pretty cool because it actually makes it safe well, and, and yeah, and the and other just, thing we try to do, we, doing it. Yeah, we try to take that step, exactly what you said, to the next level, which would be we put all electric winches on the boat so you're not cranking winches. We've done all of this. We've designed this boat so that one person can sail it. We put bow thrusters on it so when you're coming into the dock, if you're not quite there, you hit the bow thruster and it brings you in perfectly. A point again, safety, safety, and safety. We look for ways to make this boat so easy for one person to handle. The in mass furling makes it easy to bring the sail out by yourself. We've got a head sail that can come out very easily. Everything is done back here. Once you pull the sail out, you can trim your main sail back and forth using your main sheet, all from right here at the helm. Very cool. Yep. I mean, that's how it should be. We've got enough technology oh now gosh, that yeah. it's got to move this way, that it's got to, it's got to make it easier. It's, so. about the, it's like the lifestyle of being on the water. Absolutely. You know, and you know, this past weekend, a lot of us went up to Paradise Cove, about seven boats, and we're all anchored out there. We, we've all got barbecues on the back of the boat. We've all distanced ourselves, and we just it, it becomes something that it gets you out of the house. Totally. Uh, Let's show for some people that are not um, not as much of a sailboat, don't have sailboat experience, and sure. just kind of interested in it. Um, certain things that for us are no-brainers, but for them are like, how does this work? How's okay, so like the table, for example. Sure. Obviously, this opens up. All you do is you pull it up. Yep. So you've got a in place. massive table that you guys could put right. up here. So I can set I can set six people here for dinner. There's I have a, a refrigeration unit oh, in here. Check that. But out. I can keep everything nice and Very cold. Very cool. Can I open it? And it's portable. Yeah. Okay. So and yeah. it's portable. I can take it with me if I want. A couple of bottles of champagne. Yes. Okay. I know how you roll, Trent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where we put the four bottles of champagne. Okay. While that one's still cooling. Got it. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, but, that's when the boat doesn't have that many kids, or maybe when it does. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but the okay. nice thing about it is, is you know, we do all the cushions for it so that, that they can stay out. They're they're pretty much waterproof. It's done with some umbrella materials, and they're pretty much impervious to much anything. This is a um, and underneath a, here, a as as always, we have storage units so that we can uh, store all of yeah, our it cleaning. Yeah, looks like there's a lot of stuff in there. I know a lot of people want to know. You know, what happens when it's really hot out here? Well, this boat has heat, air, and generators on board. Oh, yeah, this is, the, yeah, yeah, let's talk about all the tech it's stuff. It's got all the fantastic things. And underneath here is where uh, we make it so accessible, you can get right into where the generator is. Oh, wow, this is great access. Yeah, easy access. Is if there's ever any situation where the impeller bit picks up a piece of seaweed or something like that, it's easy to get to to address right. any 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 uh, little uh, problems that may arise. And the other thing that uh, that is really kind of cool is this extended platform out back. Correct. I can put a couple chairs out here. We put a step in here so it makes it easy to board and unload, uh, uh, depart. And at the same time,
That way you don't have to sit there and pull anything up. It's in electric format. So all you have to do is push the button. And so you have the ease of operation. And when it comes fully up, if there's any, let's say, um, following seas, it's not coming into your cockpit. It stays fully dry 100%. Very cool. All right. Um, what kind of engines does the boat have? This has a uh, 75 horsepower Yanmar in it, which is probably almost uh, one of the most impervious engines out there as mm -hmm. far as durability. Um, Yanmar is probably the, the, the go-to engine for both Beneteau, Janot, and a lot of the other major manufacturers. Fuel consumption, pretty much non-existent. Maybe a half a gallon to a gallon. Uh, you, 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 you'll put fuel in the boat maybe once a year. That's the beauty of a 50, yeah. basically a 50 foot, foot sailboat. So. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just, and it's so easy to handle. I mean, the operation of the engine, everything is done right here from the console. All I do is I hit power, hit start, and it fires right up. The other really nice things about it, the boat has full blown, uh, it's totally automated. It's got radar, it's got GPS on board. It's got an autopilot that you set your course on wherever you want to go, hit auto, and the boat will take you to Avalon. So this is a really cool layout, you guys. It's quite unusual, and I thought it would be a cool boat to show to you because of actual interior layout. So we're here in a salon. Especially for a 49 foot boat. The galley is pretty well laid out in terms of if you're working on it, and it has some cool features. So this is a little pull out. There's a button. Um, if you're working here, you can just kind of set up the trash and it's nice little spacious area. There's a lot of fridge space. So we've got fridge. One top loader. Top loader. This is really nice access, which you never have because you're always kind of climbing over and you know pulling stuff out. So this is really, really cool. I like that a lot. Um, also, we've got a drawer as well, good size, so that's really nice. Another cool feature is this one here. It's actually a hidden microwave. Oh wow. Kind of cool, because how often are you really using it? So when you do use it, it's nice, and you can store it away when you, when you, when you don't need it. Storage-wise, size little axes Lots of pans. here. I like these. So nice. Oh, that's a that's a big storage. Yeah. Another big storage. Wow, this one's super deep. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I don't know if this is access or no. Nope, also, a little storage. Tons of natural light. Really good headroom. So I'm 5'7", I'm so that's a lot of headroom for sailboat. The amount of hatches, I think Trent had counted 10. So yeah, that's a lot. If you open it all up, it's gonna be really good airflow in here. So this is a pretty cool feature. Instead of having a captain's space nav station, this actually turned into a dinette. So you could actually use it as an extra table as well. If you have more than six people on board, you can have this extra table. It's a cool little breakfast nook or like a workspace. If you work from home, put your laptop there. Nav station usually is a little bit of a waste of space in these days, especially for the weekend cruisers. They don't really need to plot any courses or charts. Get all your yacht systems right handy here. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. What's this here? Oh wow, that's storage. Another big storage right yep. there. Good size storage here. And this. that table yep. converts. Converts. Mm. It needs, needs a support. So then oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, there's a little yeah, support yeah, yeah. that come yeah. out. Yep, totally. Okay, cool. There's really deep storage in here, extra stuff. And here you see the shrouds Trent was mentioning earlier, where you have that comfortable walkthrough on the outer deck. Um, they split the shrouds, you have the uh, outboard shrouds, and then you have shrouds which are way further inboard to keep them out of the way when you walk forward. But that's the reason you see them here on the interior. Oh, there's also like a little compartments here, you can store stuff, bottles and 
Seems like this boat is laid out for someone who likes, likes wine. wine or champagne. <laughs> <laughs> this dining area also converts into a full-size bed. So this could be lowered, there are cushions that go on top, and this whole thing is a bed as well. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check out aft cabins. So this is a three cabin layout. Oh, let's see here. So we have a locker, which is actually a really good size. It's got tons of life jackets and stuff in there right now. Good, at least a queen size berth, I think, right? The way it looks. For sure, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty large, yeah. It's pretty big. Got all your battery switches down there and breakers. The engine compartment underneath the stairwell. There we go, Yanmar sitting in there. Pretty decent access from both sides as the access panels on each side. So that's, that's pretty convenient. All right. So we've got another cabin on this side. Kind of almost pretty much equal. It's got yeah. also... Seems a little more airy. Center, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, okay. Got okay. also a little locker there. Hanging closet, yeah. yeah. Mm, closet. Again, and decent, this size, is... decent size. Decent mm -hmm. size uh, berth. And then you have a shared... Um, shower, head, combo. Yeah, actually a good size shower, for sure. With two access ways. Yeah, so it could the, be used as a day head and obviously a shared. And the shared head with a port side cabin. Let's check out the master, which is, I think, a really cool um, layout on this boat. I haven't seen it on any other sailboats. So you come in into the master. This is a, uh, at least a queen size bed. It's a queen size bed. Yeah. Yep. Um, Straight mattress, huh? So when you come in and you follow me in, kind of cool and unexpected. There is a sink here and there's a really good size shower. Great headroom, really tall, hatches everywhere. I mean, this is great airflow. We have storage. Oh, that's clever. This the... is massive here. Check this out. Massive, right? <laughs> But that's not all because you're wondering where the toilet is. It's separate and it has its own sink. It's really cool. So actually two people, a couple can get ready. One person could get ready here. You know, there's a sink, there's another sink there. So it's kind of nice. So instead of having this dual vanity and taking a lot of space, which in the length you don't have here, you still get your dual vanity. Yeah. Is there storage? Oh yeah. It's got to be right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, kind of deep. Interesting. Not a lot of stuff. Pretty cool layout. Yeah, very different. For a forward cabin. Totally. Oh, you got more storage here, huh? Yeah, it's an another hanging locker here. Nice. Closet. Yeah, with little shelves. Yep. This hatch is here, a really, really big. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if it translates, but they're be really nice. And this got a little blackout. Cool. Oh, these are nice blinds. Mm -hmm. Really easy to use and different. Looks very really modern. Yeah, pretty cool boat. Very nice. Mm -hmm. See another storage here. Wow, it's a lot of storage. They really thought about it and used every possible corner they could for storage. It's really great. 
Yeah, fantastic layout, I think so too. I know we chatted about it uh, a little bit before, so I would like to actually, I think it's a really interesting subject right now in a time of quarantine and um, lockdowns. How is the yacht sale industries changing nowadays? What have you been doing different? That's a great question. I mean, there's a whole paradigm shift that's taken place. People want to see boats, but they're very cautious about the Corona-19. So what I've done with quite a few people is, uh, you find the boat that you want. Let's say you go to my website at Cruising Yachts and you, you pick boat A and you call me up and say, you know, I really like to see that boat. Great. What I'll do is I'll come down, I'll open the boat, I will then FaceTime you so that you can see the boat in real time. I can walk you through the boat and I can, with, with FaceTime, I can show you every feature and benefit of this boat. I can show you the interior. A lot of times, let's say it's a brokerage boat. Mm -hmm. A lot of times the brokerage boats will have a lot of romance copy and somebody will Photoshop all the pictures and it looks right. absolutely stunning. And when you get there, you go, this isn't the boat I saw online. Right. With FaceTime, the way that I've been doing it for the past month and a half is I show you exactly what the boat looks like. Do you feel like that's kind of the future? Totally. That's going to get implemented Well, let's put it this way. You can go from San Diego to Seattle with me at, in, the, in the comfort of your own home and I'm going to do all the work. I have offices from, from uh, let's say, uh, San Diego all the way up to Alameda and Sausalito. I can show you every boat because we have salespeople in every location that can say, hey, I want to see that boat. Great. We'll go down. We'll FaceTime it. We'll walk you through it. And, and once you feel like that is something you want to really go after, then you can make, make an actual time to go and see it yourself. You make an informed decision. Correct. Yeah. Make based on, based on knowledge and based on actual looking at the boat for what it really looks like. Obviously, a lot of industries have been heavily impacted. Do you feel like people are um, buying boats, selling boats? Like what, what is the overall health you know, status of the industry? It's kind of like the stock market. You know how it, we thought it was just going to go and drop down to like 15,000, something like that? Well, today it's at 24,500, and it's still migrating forward. Mm -hmm. And the boating industry has also experienced the same thing. We've seen a major upsurge in people calling, wanting to know about boats, wanting to know what the financing rates are out there. Are we direct lenders with major banks? Mm -hmm. Can we get a 3.99 rate for 20 years? Amazing. <laughs> we can do all of this. And what's happening is, we're selling boats. Okay. We're selling boats every day. I've, I, I know I won one client. I called on four boats that she wanted to see. All four were under contract. That is crazy. So I know it's happening. And the whole paradigm shift is people are saying, I don't want to have to stay home all the time. This is their second home. This is the I little wanna, vacation spot yeah. you can go and social distance whenever you want to and also I think for the rest of the year it's going to be pretty difficult to travel for a lot of people so either you're going to be inland traveling yep. which is not necessarily what you know what you maybe you want to do or also necessarily as safe yeah. but you can also take your boat and just be completely completely self-sufficient and have a fantastic time with your family or just with your significant other so it makes total sense yeah. why people would want to buy a boat well I think in the key that you're saying there People want to unify their families, and we want to get them out of the house. Correct. And we want to take them down to here. I mean, look at this beautiful day. Can yep. you imagine having a family of two or three kids and your mom and dad on, on here? And we go sailing, we go up to cruise, up to Paradise Cove. And what happens is it refreshes everyone's mind so when they do go back home, they've got this image of what they just experienced. Right. And that experience will get them through the next three, four, five, 10 days, two weeks, because they know they're gonna do that again. I mean, it's definitely, being on a boat is very freeing, so I feel like that's just yeah. sort of a chicken soup for your soul. Yeah. When you've been in your house and just kind of cooped and you go out there and you feel like, wow, I, I, I feel like nothing's changed. So that, yeah. that's definitely been, it's been for me an, an amazing outlet to be able to go out and you know just feel like everything is normal when you're out there. And yeah, it's like a, it's a complete pattern interruption. Totally. From what you're experiencing. 
instead of taking ne negative, 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 we're going to infuse an in positive impact on you for the whole, let's say, four hours or five hours or for the weekend. That's going to change your whole psychological makeup at, when you go back home. Makes you're sense. fresh. You're clean. You've wiped away the stress because of being in the house. You now went to some place that it's a happy place that yeah. takes you to a whole nother dimension. When you're out there and you're coming across, let's say, a whole pod of, of dolphins and there's crisscrossing back and forth in front of the boat, it's like kids on a sugar high. Totally. You know, and I've done it for so many years, but I tell you what, it's fresh. Every single time I go out there, it's the same it thing. Never it's gets a rush. Old. Never, never gets, old. gets old. This concludes our tour of Journal 490. Thank you so much for showing it to us, Trent. We really appreciate it, and we cannot wait to see you in the next one. I tell you what, we really appreciate you stepping up and, and coming down and seeing what we do have to offer. And it's, it's just great to share it with everybody. You know, too many times we don't get to share what the lifestyle is all about. So thank you so much. And stay distance, <laughs> stay healthy, stay healthy out there. Thanks, Trent. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe share and comment down below what you guys thought about the boat and if you want any extra information if you have any questions please put them down in the comments below and i will talk to trent and find out uh, what you guys need also if anyone is interested in purchasing this boat the information will be down below so check it out ciao Jano 490. Let me do it again. <clears throat> okay. Uh, do you want to do like a cutaway this way? Yeah, or twice. Okay, cool. Hi, guys. I'm going to take you on a... La. Trent and Carol with Cruising Yachts are going to show us the boat. <laughs> okay, let's do it one more time. I'm in. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> one more time. I feel, I, feel, I feel like for a lot... Yeah. All the cleaning gear goes in here. The Lysol and uh, Talax uh, that okay. kills all the... Um, uh, mold and anything like that if which it should you ever occur. Drink. What's that? Which you shouldn't drink. <laughs> don't ever drink it. Whatever you do, don't ever drink it. Don't ever try to figure out a way to ingest it. Very good. It is totally not something that you want to do. Exactly. If you want to wash your toilet bowl, yeah. Don't wash your throat. <laughs> okay. So got another fridge here or? Oh, this yeah, I just showed it to you in the drawer. It's already open. Oh well, got it. It's already open, no? Yeah, I already opened this for you. Just don't argue, just open and show it to me. You want me to do it again? No. Well, this concludes our tour of Jano 490. Thank you so much, Trent, for showing it to us. We really appreciate it. And we cannot see you on the next one. Cannot I wait, look. cannot wait to see you. <laughs> we cannot see you on the next one. <laughs> All right, you, might, you might want to do that over. <laughs> Let's go on an outtake. Because we're going, to be, the next oh. one we do is closed eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, bye.